In today's video, I want to switch things up and talk about something different. When I go to any amusement park, my main focus is the roller coasters. I will occasionally stray from the coasters, however, to check out other things that pique my interest, and I want to discuss a few flat rides that I've been on that I personally enjoy. I am certainly no expert on flat rides, but there are definitely a few that have really impressed me that I would consider to be some of the best rides in their respective park, so I am just going to highlight some of those. I have not been to a ton of parks, and I haven't even been on nearly all flat rides at said parks, so my experience with flat rides is really limited, only having been on a handful that have really impressed me in one way or another. If your favorites aren't on this list, then I most likely just haven't ridden it. These also are not listed in any particular order. Enjoy! To start off, we have The Crypt at King's Dominion. This was a classic Huss ride, which seems to be becoming more rare in the US nowadays, and unfortunately, this one was removed from King's Dominion during this offseason in early 2020. This version of the top spin has two rows which both face outside in a back-to-back theater-style seating arrangement. This particular model is the suspended top spin model, which holds 38 people per cycle. I rode the Crypt once in 2019, and I'm truly glad that I got to experience it, because it is one of the most chaotic experiences I've ever had on a ride. You would just get whipped so violently forwards and backwards uncontrollably, and you'd have no idea which way you were facing until the ride was done. Very intense and whippy all around. Of course, the Crypt had some really nice theming and presentation to complement the ride experience as you were suspended over the water and you had these awesome shooting water jets as well as some flame effects occasionally, if they were working. Very nice touch to a thrilling ride that will be missed at this park along with many other rides. Aero 360 at Kennywood is a Zamperla Hawk. Now this is a ride in which you rotate upside down in a circular 360 degree motion, forwards and backwards in suspended seats with over the shoulder restraints. This also has a seating arrangement where riders face each other if you are on an inside row. The arms are powered by a motor and it gets pretty fast at points, but also has some really wicked hang time during parts of the ride as you just slowly plummet back towards the ground and back up the other way to be flipped all over again. This is a pretty intense ride, but isn't too crazy. Very thrilling and unique rides. I don't think these are all too common either. Electro Spin at Carowinds is a Mondial Ventura. This ride is kind of weird to explain, but basically it has a main masthead with a movable masthead mounted 45 degrees onto the main masthead. The movable masthead has six gondola arms, which go around in a circle left and right. The gondola arms have six suspended seats, so your legs dangle freely like on an inverted coaster, and even has over-the-shoulder restraints that remind me a lot of the classic B&M over-the-shoulder restraints. The gondolas rotate freely, flipping you upside down very sporadically with really intense whip. The ride has a pretty long cycle as well. Electrospin offers a unique and out of control type of ride that is very disorienting. X Scream at Waldemir is one of those Larson drop towers, which means once you get up to the top, there is no time for you to take everything in and contemplate about why you got on this thing. You reach the top and immediately fall all the way back down. This really sudden and unexpected fall really just takes the experience up a notch. And this is the most intense drop tower I've been on. Now, this is a weird one for me, because I'm not always a fan of drop towers. I actually only rode this once quite a few years ago, and haven't gotten on it since because it is so intimidating for me. So, do I like it? Yeah, I guess I do like it, because it is such a good drop tower. x Scream is 140 feet tall, dropping you from 120 feet, and is definitely a very thrilling ride in Waldemere's lineup. If you are a fan of intense drop towers, definitely don't skip this if at the park. I will make it a point to get on this again whenever I go back to Waldemere. The Whip is one of the many extremely rare rides which you can find at Kennywood. This Whip is the second one at the park actually, and opened in 1926. It was manufactured by WF Mangles. This ride features a large oblong turntable in the middle with arms attached to these cars which round a very tight 180 degree turn on each end and you get whipped abruptly around these corners. It's a very unique ride and isn't very intense but offers a nice thrill that is different from anything else that I've been on. To end the list, I have Chaos at Waldemere, 
which opened in 2019. This ride is a Zamperla Midi Discovery, and this is a smaller scale pendulum style ride. I've been on larger models of pendulum rides at Cedar Point and King's Dominion, which are pretty fun rides, but they don't really impress me too much to be honest. But I was taken aback just by how crazy and fun Chaos was. This model does flip you upside down, and it does so with insane amounts of hang time. There are times when you are hanging upside down and just very slowly tipping into the other direction for at least a good 5 seconds. You reach a height of 60 feet on this as you swing upside down. You also get some great airtime on this, and Chaos is the only ride I've been on where I just laughed uncontrollably the whole time. I just couldn't help it. This ride is so fun and really packs a punch. I believe these are great for small parks because of their super thrilling hang time and negative G-filled rides as well as having decent capacity with 16 riders per cycle. This is actually my very favorite flat ride that I have been on no doubt. I just couldn't get enough of chaos. It definitely really left a good impression on me. I know for sure that most of you won't have any of these flat rides as your personal favorites, so be sure to let me know what your favorite flat rides are that you've been on. Like my Facebook page Coaster Daddy and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.